Let us now take the sixth model from percentages where we are supposed to find out the percentage change between two values. Now let us first understand the formula here. Percentage change can always be taken as final value minus initial value by initial value into 100. So whenever we are supposed to find out the percentage change from one value to the other, we can always go for final value minus initial value by initial value into 100. Let's say that the sales of a company in two different years is given to us. For example, sales of a company in the year 2001 is X and the sales of the company in 2004 was Y. Then to find out the percentage change between these two values, we can say that the answer should be final value minus initial value by initial value into 100. So the percentage change in the sales of the company from 2001 to 2004 can be taken as the sales in 2004 minus sales in 2001 divided by sales in 2001 into 100. Similarly, if the population of a country is given for various years, let's say the population of a particular country is given from 2001 to 2010. Now to find out the percentage change in population from 2001 to 2010, we can take the answer as final value that is the population in 2010 minus initial value, the population in 2001 by initial value that is again the population in 2001 into 100. So this is how whenever we need to find out a percentage change between two values, we always take it as final minus initial by initial value into 100 or that is nothing but the difference of two values. Final minus initial is nothing but the difference of two values by initial value into 100. Now remember friends, percentage change can either be a percentage increase or a percentage decrease. It can be an increase in change or it can be a percentage decrease of change. So here, how do we decide whether the change that we have obtained is a percentage increase or a percentage decrease? That can be decided based on the symbol. That can be decided based on the sign of the value. For example, sometimes when we take final minus initial by initial into 100, we may get a negative answer. That negative sign indicates that the change here is a decrease. So whatever value we get, that should be taken as percentage decrease. And if we get a positive answer, then it should be taken as a percentage increase. So whenever we need to find out percentage change or percentage increase or percentage decrease, we simply go for final minus initial by initial into 100. So if the answer is positive, it is a percentage increase and if it is negative, then it is a percentage decrease. Let us now take an example based on the concept of percentage change that we have learned just now. The question given here is the profit made by a company in the present year is rupees 15 lakhs. Two years ago, the profit made by the same company was rupees 24 lakhs. What is the percentage change in the profit made by the company? So as you can see here, we know the present profit of the company that is rupees 15 lakhs and the profit two years ago, which is 24 lakhs. And we are supposed to find out what is the percentage change between these two values. Now we know that percentage change is nothing but final value minus the initial value by initial value into 100. Now in the given question, the final value is nothing but the present profit which is rupees 15 lakhs and the initial value is the profit two years ago that is 24 lakhs. So we can say that the percentage change will be 15 lakhs minus 24 lakhs that is the initial value divided by 24 lakhs into 100 which is nothing but 15 minus 24 by 24 into 100 as lakhs is common in the numerator and denominator which is equal to minus 9 by 24 into 100 so this can be taken as 3 by 8 and from the knowledge of fractions in terms of percentages we know that 3 by 8 will be equal to 37.5 percent so the answer here should be minus 37.5 percent and this minus sign indicates that the profit has decreased so we can say that the percentage change in the profit made by the companies 37.5 percent decrease so this is nothing but a decrease in the profit so the answer here is 37.5 percent decrease so this is how we can simply use the formula that is final minus initial by initial into 100 to find out the percentage change between two values friends remember that the concept of percentage change that is final minus initial by initial into 100 is very very frequently used when we solve questions from data interpretation 